Now, this has to do with the governor versus government row in Tamil Nadu. Essentially, it's escalating. Now, M.K. Stalin, the chief minister, has sent a letter to the governor regarding the reallocation of Minister Senthil Walaji's portfolios owing to ill health. Now, the governor, Arun Ravi, has reportedly returned the letter, calling it incorrect and misleading. It's, this is essentially an escalation of the row that's taking place uh, between the state government and the governor. And this specifically is in connection to Minister Senthil Balaji's portfolios. Now, what's being said in the letter from the chief minister to the governor is that the portfolios of Senthil Balaji need to be reallocated owing to ill health. The governor has returned the letter saying that it's incorrect and misleading. Honorable Ravi is acting like the agent of the BJP government. Actually, even in 31-5-2023, he wrote a letter to the Chief Minister that requesting, not requesting, ordering him to remove Sindhil Balaji, Minister, from the Minister post. The next day, immediately, on that 31-5-23, uh, our Chief Minister returned from Japan. On that day itself, he wrote a letter. Next day itself, our Chief Minister replied him. In, in his reply letter, he told that there is no uh, examples, there is no precedence. So again, that's a statement that's coming about this entire row. Again, this is about the state government versus the governor in Tamil Nadu. The Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has sent a letter to the governor, Arun Ravi, regarding the reallocation of Senthil Balaji's portfolios. Now, he's saying that they need to be reallocated owing to ill health. Remember, after the ED had conducted raids on the residences of Senthil Balaji, he, there were dramatic visuals which emerged where Senthil Balaji was stressed out about the raids that were taking place and he had to be shifted to the hospital as he had complained of chest pain. Now again, this is what's been cited in the letter by the Chief Minister where he's saying that his portfolios need to be reallocated owing to ill health. Now the governor has responded to this specifically saying, now he's returned the letter and he's saying that there's no need to reallocate the portfolios owing to the reason given which is ill health because it is incorrect and misleading. We'll try to get you more details on this latest escalation when it comes to the Tamil Nadu governor versus the state government, but this is the latest when it comes to the story. Again, this is about a letter which has been sent from the chief minister to the governor regarding the reallocation of Senthil Balaji's portfolios. Now, we're going to cross over to CNN News 18's Purnima Murli to get us more details on this. Uh, Purnima, over to you. <laughs> Well, the governor versus uh, the Tamil Balaji was raided, and after nearly 18 hours of interrogation, he was arrested. And uh, uh, the ED is, uh, and he's now been sent to judicial custody. What really happens is that the the, the government had recommended the reallocation of two portfolios uh, that was handled by Sendil Balaji. One was the electricity and the other was uh, the excise and prohibition portfolio uh, uh, will be uh, now uh, given to uh, the other ministers. And the reason cited for this was his ill health and uh, the surgery that he's all set to undergo. Uh, the governor had responded saying that the reason given for uh, the reallocation of uh, these portfolios is misleading and incorrect. And uh, the DMK had uh, late night in a press conference said that uh, after the chief minister returned from Japan, after uh, trying to woo the investors, after he returned, uh, the governor had recommended that uh, the Sendil Balaji be dropped from uh, the cabinet till uh, the ED completes his probe, uh, its probe in the in the job uh, in the job scam. That's something that the governor had recommended on the thirty first. All right, we'll try to reestablish that connection with our correspondent and we'll continue the, to attract the developments here. But